Good evening, this is Tokyo Woodblock Printmaker Dave Bull here at my workbench in the back room of our shop in Asakusa, Tokyo. Tonight's video isn't the technical one showing the carving or one of the printers at work. This is the wrap up for the current Kickstarter campaign which ends in a couple of days. The next video, which I plan to work on tomorrow, will introduce some really interesting old prints, but I better not get sidetracked by that just yet. Five years ago, in this same wrap-up video to our original Ukiwe Heroes Kickstarter, I was able to show the viewers the very first batch of prints that had just come to life. That was the rickshaw cart design back then. Here, this time around, I'm not able to show off a completed batch of prints, because we're very much still buried in the work. In fact, that's what's on my desk at the moment. The color separation planning for the first of the new boss fights designs. This one is turning out to be a real head scratcher for me. As many of you know by now, a major reason for doing a new Kickstarter this year was to try and make a jump, try and get the Ukiwe Heroes prints to a different level. I asked Jed to create some designs with a much greater intensity and depth. And when he came back with, you know, but you told me I couldn't use too many colors, I kind of lost my head a little and told him, forget those previous restrictions. This time around, just go for it. So he did. He drew and he layered and he layered and he drew some more. And now here on my bench, I've got to figure out how to actually make this thing happen in wood and paper. Viewers of our Twitch live stream have been watching me work on this actually over the last few days as I try to figure out how to get the various colors to work over each other properly. But now I'm nearly done and once I've found my solution I will be pasting these sheets onto blocks of fresh cherry wood all prepared by our own staff upstairs here and they will then go to our young carver for cutting. There's rather a lot of them this time but damn the torpedoes. <laughs> We announced six new woodblock designs in this campaign, and work is underway now already on five of them. A trial of strength, as you have seen, is now approaching the color carving stage. While our young carver has been waiting for me to get these color separations ready, he has moved ahead with work on the key block on the next one, Meteoric Power. The one after that hasn't started yet, but of course, as soon as the first one is finished, we get going on that. As for the other three more traditional designs, the block set for A Young Man Shakes Heaven is totally done, and it has been assigned to our young printer Yamamoto-san. He'll get working on this as soon as he's finished his current batch of more Great Wave prints. Young Kawasaki-san, who has been covering all the subscription prints for the past couple of years, has been working steadily on the block set for The Serpent Strikes, and she told me just the other day they will be finished later this month. Our newest carver, Yumi-san, she's at the same stage on the Dragon's Gift, so both of those two images will begin printing soon. So what has this Kickstarter done for us? And oh, when we started the campaign, we knew it wouldn't explode like it did five years ago. Back then it was kind of a stunning new idea that just zipped around the world. It certainly changed the traditional printmaking world here in Japan. Jed's conception initiated a huge boom in similar copycat work being undertaken here in Japan. Every publisher in town jumped on this bag in pop culture ukiwe, offering designs from God, Star Wars, Doraemon, Lupin, Ghost in the Shell, Naruto, Hatsune Miku, am I forgetting stuff? The, the rock band stuff, Kiss, Iron Maiden, I can't keep track of them all. Ukiyo-e, after sleeping through the entire 20th century, has now come alive again as a creative force in world art. You've got to see this. There's a massive museum in Hamburg, Germany. It, I can't do the German word, Kunst und Gewerbe, Museum of Arts and Crafts. They have a huge collection of ukiwe, spanning like 300 years of it, from the earliest days until it faded out in the Meiji era. They had a gigantic exhibition last autumn, picking from the best of their ukiwe collection, and including, at the end of the show, our ukiwe. Heroes prints. So here we sit, you know, Jed, San and I were looking at this. We didn't start this project to save Ukiwe. We started it, we weren't really thinking about why we started it. We just want to make interesting prints and, you know, for his side, feed his kids and for me, keep my workshop going. But here we are, Jed, Henry and Dave Ball, the de facto inheritors of that entire long tradition, the Ukiwe genre. One of the greatest achievements of world art being pushed in a new direction by our hands. I guess we just get to shut up 
and get back to work. <laughs> Thank you very much to those of you who have joined this campaign, helping us take Ukiway Heroes to a new level. All of us on the team, you know, carvers, printers, papermakers, the, the packing ladies, Jetson, of course, from all of us, your support is greatly appreciated. As I mentioned when I closed the intro video to this campaign, just where this is going, I have no idea. But thank you very much for coming along. The next video, ready any day now about these little prints. Well, see you then. Thank you again, and good night. <laughs>